When it's all said and done, Andy, is he the greatest of all time? Uh, right now, he is. Um, I, in my mind, the only person that, that could catch him is, is Rafa Nadal. Mm -hmm. um, Roger struggled with him throughout the career, but I mean, if you look at 17 slams, he's won every Grand Slam. Um, he's the greatest of all time right now. That's what the knock on him is, though, is that Nadal is right there, and he can't seem to get over that hump. Well, I mean, he's beaten him, and, you know, Nadal's just beaten him more. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a tough matchup for him. Being lefty, he's able to get to, to Roger's weaknesses up high on the, on the backhand side sometimes. But, you know, it's, it's not about playing one person. About, it's about the context of, of, a, of a total career, and you can't argue with Roger's numbers. I, I think he's the best ever. You alluded to it in the interview, 2009. It was Federer's fifth win, uh, sixth win at yeah. Wimbledon. What did you learn in that moment about yourself and about him? Um, you know, my, with myself, uh, I learned in the next couple of months that I was able to bounce back. Um, but with him, it was just kind of this human element. You hear what a great guy Roger is. And you know, what? A, you're with people on tour, but it's different from really knowing them. Mm -hmm. And... In the locker room afterwards, seeing how reserved he was, considering he had just broken the all-time Grand Slams record, and it was because he was concerned that I was upset. He held it in until the right moment, and I'm sure later on they celebrated, but I thought that was a really classy thing of him to kind of be a, a little more reserved because he knew that uh, I, I was obviously heartbroken. It's fun to watch. It was a nice interview. Thanks, right, Andy. Thank you.